anniversary of Iran protests where 1500 people got killed and I couldn't stop my tears when I heard the voice of Puya Bakhtiari and many other people were chanting against the dictators. Still Iranian people are furious, still the mothers are in the street and today um, actually some of the family members are in prison but they are the bravest voice within the society still saying a no to dictator. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'll turn us off with some questions and we'll take some questions from the audience. This is not a question, this is a comment first of all. Sure. Your spirit is incredible. And I know I speak on behalf of not, I mean, the world at large. Thank you. And Thank one you. thing I wanted to ask is, how can we help be your voice? But that's a very good question. You can do a lot. So please tell us. Let's start there. First of all, do not think that we are fighting like for our own rights and human rights is something like internal and women's rights is something like internal matter. <coughs> I always say that there's a famous uh, actually, actually expression in America saying that anything happened in Vegas is going to stay in Vegas. <laughs> but anything happened in the Middle East is not going to stay in the Middle East. So that is why when we, the women of Iran, when the people of Iran fighting against dictatorship, it means that they are fighting for the whole world. They're trying to save you from religious extremists. And that is why I strongly believe that this is a fight, common fight. We have to stick together. Look at women of Afghanistan. Look at women in the Middle East. When they risk their lives, the most important thing for all people around the world, it's just send a letter to lo your local politicians and go on Twitter, on social media, and do not let the dictators win the narrative. Let me just give you one example. In Iran protests, as you saw, the regime shut down the internet for three days. At the same time, our dictators were present on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And I actually asked people, help me. I want to kick Khamenei and all the dictators out from Twitter. A lot of people in the West were saying that, no, we are fighting for freedom of speech. Even our opposition, even those who we do not believe in them, we have to support their freedom of speech as well. I'm here to tell you that. Join me. Write to Twitter. Write to Instagram. Write to Facebook and ask them that giving a platform to dictators, you are actually empowering them to kill more people. And that doesn't call freedom of speech. And wait a minute, in America, a lot of people support when Trump was kicked out from Twitter. Isn't this hypocrisy? That Taliban is on Facebook and Twitter? Isn't that hypocrisy? That Khamenei actually promoting fatwa to kill Salman Rushdie is on Twitter? So you can do a lot, join me and kick the dictators out from all the social media. I don't need your heart to kick them from Iran. People of Iran are going to do that for sure. Woo! Woo! We're in. We're in. 